So one of the things that you and many other asset managers in the industry have tried to accomplish is to get a U.S.-based uh, Bitcoin ETF approved. Not futures, but actual spot Bitcoin ETF. Uh, we do not have that yet. There are many other jurisdictions around the world that do have that uh, asset available to them. What is your take on where we currently are, both in terms of the applications, the denials? Will we see uh, one of those approved in 2023? Or how are you thinking about a spot Bitcoin ETF in the U.S.? Yeah, it's been more than a decade. The first spot Bitcoin application was in 2013 when Bitcoin was trading for $80. So investors could have had exposure at that time and ridden it up to 28,000. Uh, and that has been denied them, which I think is a, a travesty. Uh, they've also been forced into less secure, less safe solutions along the way. I'm not optimistic we get a spot Bitcoin ETF this year. Uh, there have been so many rejections. Bitwise doesn't currently have a spot Bitcoin ETF application on file because we think the door is closed. It's interesting to watch the Grayscale SEC lawsuit. I think that could push us down a pathway that leads eventually to a spot Bitcoin ETF, maybe in 2024, but I'm not optimistic for 2023. I think the question investors should ask themselves is if you are optimistic that we'll get there in 24 or 25, do you want to wait or do you want to allocate now? Uh, we think a lot of investors want to allocate ahead of that. Um, but, you know, I think we'll get there, but I don't think it'll be this year. I think it's just uh, a difficult regulatory environment for that. I don't know how much you can comment, but obviously Grayscale is uh, locked in this lawsuit with the SEC. Are there specific things that you all are looking for as this plays out, whether it is uh, specific arguments from Grayscale or responses from the SEC? Um, how do you kind of think about you know what's important there versus maybe what's noise and will get reported, but people could ignore and, and not really put too much weight on? Yeah, I mean, I should say Grayscale is, of course, both a competitor and a friend. Uh, we're all friendly in this crypto ecosystem. We're rooting for them in this lawsuit. What they're really trying to pin the SEC down on is the fact that the SEC has approved Bitcoin futures ETFs, which settle to the spot price of Bitcoin. And then in the spot applications, they're saying you can't rely on that price because it's subject to market manipulation. And, uh, you know, I studied philosophy in school. I don't know how you can hold those two arguments at the same time. And so I'm really hopeful that they win this case. The important thing for investors to realize is that doesn't necessarily mean that the SEC approves spot Bitcoin ETFs. The market manipulation standard is just one piece of the puzzle in getting a spot Bitcoin ETF approved. And I suspect uh, if they win the lawsuit, uh, we'll have to deal with the other pieces. The good thing about those other pieces is I think they're solutions, but they're not super clean shots on goal. That's why I think it'll be 2024. So we're watching to see, like the rest of the industry, does Grayscale win? They had a very good day in court. It seemed like the judges um, asked tough questions of the SEC, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they'll win. I do hope they win. I think their argument is sound. I think they should win, um, but we'll see in the next few months.